Okay, continuing with the series of small projects. I've got new wiring out front here, but I did not change the dash harness. So all of these connections are a little bit corroded. Wouldn't hurt to clean them, let's see if I think. And that is actually a factory plug in there. I'm gonna use that a little bit to uh, work back and forth. But this is my weapons of choice today. I bought this, um, I think they're called IPA Fleet Technician. 80 bucks for this uh, little kit. I guess it's the old cry, buy once, cry once kind of deal. First, I'm gonna get them with this a little bit, let it sit, and then after I file the bulb grease or dielectric little tube I've got. I was a little disappointed to find out I don't have any flat files. This is the, uh, probably the one I gotta use in there. This kit comes with uh, these little diamond impregnated little deals so you can clip on to say uh, right here, clean them up. And then there's a smaller one right there. Uh, it's got the round ones for doing your uh, round plugs. This does the socket, that does the male end, a couple different sizes. So yeah, you don't often need this kind of stuff, but I bought it now I've got it so uh, yeah so I'll soak this stuff down in here a little bit and go ahead and clean it now I have found that CLR calcium line and rust that stuff you get at Home Depot that'll clean this up too if you soak it and then spray it off with this stuff real well works well but I can't soak this in anything because I'm not pulling it out of the bulkhead so anyway okay we're done I neglected to mention I was going to do all lay on my back for a couple hours doing the uh, everything underneath the dash too. But you know what? Everything's pretty clean. The fuse block was not actually. It uh, tried using those round um, files to clean them. I couldn't get in there, so I busted out the CLR, squirted some on. I was on there less than five minutes, and she did the trick. Got new uh, door switches, and those things are not fun i don't know what the answer is there's no way to get the plug on the end once it's in there so i just twist them up counterclockwise and then put the thing in and twist the wire counterclockwise and plug it in and put the switch in clockwise she spun in a little bit but uh, yeah those were frozen tight anyway that's it so okay um got a truck mat this is from Auto Custom Carpets, I think it is. They make carpets, they make this thing. And as you can see, it's formed a little bit to fit into the pan. There's other ones out there that didn't look like they were. Um, I've used their carpet before. It's as good as any, I suppose. Not bad stuff, honestly. And uh, I had, this is, the this is the reproduction, and this is a chunk of the original. It's not bad. I have to call that a pretty good, pretty good, you know. No, it's perfect, I would say. They offered this stuff in blue or gray, and I went with blue, and I think that's exactly what I have. They're so close, of course, you can't tell in the pictures. Maybe this was gray. Looks gray there, and mine's blue. Big so what? It's an old car, old Louise. So. It's going to go back in this mess here before long. I'll let it sit in the sun. I'm going to pull this crap back out again. I ask him, why, uh, why don't you just do one thing at a time? Well, you know, what are you going to do? Get excited. This is what I was talking about. This is the pigtail for the backup lamps. They go in here. They plug into here. There's, this is the one that was on there. See how nice and original? I'm finding that a lot with gaskets on this car. Stuff's just in good shape. Here's the other one. But I did make a lucky score. Some guy on eBay uh, made a bit of 15 bucks for two. He took it. So, anyway. There we go. Okay, naturally I can't wait to do anything. So I got it in, it fits nice. Um, trimming, I had to trim up here. The only thing that they screwed the pooch on was this. This is how 
most of them look. Now I trimmed that one just a little bit. <clears throat> All the rest of these were dead on. This one was halfway, halfway out, so I just trimmed it over, you know, whatever. Uh, these cars had that cardboard trunk drop off, and I actually have this one. <clears throat> I guess I'll probably try to get some stuff to put in here so that it uh, lays flat in here. But right now it's just gonna, it's just going to uh, fall down near the trunk drop off, but they have a piece of this cardboard. So, yeah, why not? So, it came out nice. I gotta figure out how to put my uh, spare tire carrier on. And then I got six tire spares over there. There they are, leaning against the tree now for two and a half months. I need to uh, get those dismounted, see if there's one that I can save. Put a tube in it just for a spare. Then I don't have to go find another 14 inch spare tire. One that's close to the tires I'm using so I don't ruin a sure grip in case I lose a tire in the back. Anyway, yeah, that's it. Everything's going back in. Well, look what I did. And now you're gonna say, what is he doing now and why? Okay, what the, for the what am I doing? I'm gonna jam my, uh, paint my trunk gutters. Um, so that's what I'm doing, why? It was a kind of a good question. There's a guy on YouTube that I watch, uh, Chris Birdsong. I think Junker Up is his channel. He's a uh, second gen charger guy, and he's into the patina thing. So he'll paint an entire trunk and engine bay with uh, automotive paint. Nicely done, fix the rust on these cars, and then uh, leave the outside looking like crap. Patina, he's got one he calls Tina. Anyway, you should check him out. He's pretty, pretty good website. So anyway, I went to uh, Napa, and they will mix up paint codes. So I found a Martin Sennauer paint code that crosses, and this is it. There it is there. It's been interesting sanding here. They just they sprayed the whole thing with just whatever, you know. They When they redid this car, those guys should have been fired. And... Uh, so I've been finding some of that down in there. So I'm going to shoot this just with spray bomb it and uh, probably prime it, maybe put a clear over it. We'll see. And uh, the, put the gutter, the uh, rubber strip on there too. Once she's dried up, now obviously there's a method and I'm not doing it. I should have done this first. And then my trunk and uh, throw the mat in last up. But I didn't plan on doing this. And uh, so, yeah, I get to drag everything out of the back of this twice. The other thing I scored, guy down, I'm not sure where he is, Georgia. Uh, Joe Succi, S-O-U-C-H-Y. These cars are his thing, 62 to 65. And he had an inner fender, which cost me $130 shipped. Because as you know, mine is all rusted out here. So I'm almost feeling guilty about cutting up a panel like this to put into my car. It's a little crispy back there, but you know, we won't use that here. But anyway, so that was somewhat of a relief, you know, instead of, it'll be, it'll look better. The other reason for getting paint in the trunk jam, because I'm gonna paint this blue and try to weather it in once the uh, thing's done. So anyway, here we go. Okay, so she's back together. Didn't come out too bad. I've obviously got the uh, trunk seal on there, deck lids back on. Um, not bad. Here's a contrast. The uh, CC1 ice blue versus, you know, whatever the heck they painted on there. You can see the difference, sort of, where I missed a spot with the tape, left the tape on there. And uh, trunk seal was okay. I used uh, black 3M, they call it Gorilla Snot because that's what this stuff is. They've got yellow stuff. I would have, I should have got the yellow stuff instead and then there, you wouldn't see it as well, whatever I got along there. Everything went well. Um, live and learn. I should have taped off this whole area when I was putting the trunk seal on because on this side, I had some weather strip seal in there and this thing slid down and I had 
black gorilla snot drips so long there. And so this morning I got to go ahead and fix it. A little cleaning, a little sanding up close. You can see how ugly it is compared to everything else that came out. I hit it with a light, a little bit of uh, primer and then the blue and it's a gloss clear over it. Man, another bad spot where my t-shirt hit it when I was, should have been waiting, but I wasn't. I was, what you call in a hurry. Got limited time to do things sometimes. So anyway, yeah, um, this is for the trunk light. It'd be kind of cool to find whatever they had for that. Although my harness, I don't believe, I think there ought to be a plug back there for that. Bumper bolts are next. This, the bumper rattles, it's loose. This one was super loose. Got it off. I don't know what's gonna become of the rest of them. This one here is still loose inside. One of the bracket bolts is broken off in the frame. There is enough to get a wrench on there. Just depends how far I'm gonna go. Definitely got uh, bumper bolts to put in and then we'll be done. So, yeah. Um, that's about it. Jack. Jack's going back in right now. I threw the base, was rusty a little bit into the molasses. I'll let it percolate for a couple weeks, pull it out and take care of it. And still gotta put in the uh, uh, fuel tank. Not a big job, just needs to get done. Call it good. So anyway, yeah, done and done for now. I hope I didn't bore you guys with the narrative on my COVID uh, Nats thing with the guys. I didn't really show any cars either. I looked later, but anyway, I don't think I'm gonna stand there in front of the camera and talk anymore. Anyway, so I got my bumper bolt in. It's fairly solid, <laughs> kind of, I guess. Uh, that's wallered out. I didn't even fool with those. I did get the brackets. There's one bolt in each bracket holding it together. Um, so I'm calling that good enough. Anything that hits the back of this car, it's gonna erupt in a cloud of rust dust anyway. So. The engine block's in the hot tank this week, so it's time to get to getting on, getting the engine stuff done. Got some stripper on this uh, valve covers. I'm gonna clean them up. Everything's just gonna be left in metal, but I'm gonna cover them with oil because uh, I want to paint this engine when I get done, and if I paint it and take it to the guy, then it's gonna get all greasy. So I'll just cover everything in oil. I gotta do all the pulleys brackets, all that stuff. That'll get painted and stay at the house here, of course. Um, so yeah, I'll be pulling everything that I got in the rust, doing the fan. Got a whole list of stuff that needs to get done. Going to be taking the car over to my buddies where we were just at, and uh, we were talking about this yesterday, about getting this thing done. Um, of course, ideally, you'd have to pull the fender and do the entire thing, but that would be silly. I talked about it just I would cut, do the rivets here, or the spot welds, cut along here maybe. We'll see. Um, he is the guy, so uh, I'll talk to him later and see what it, he thinks instead of uh, that. And on top of that, I'll take the radiator along, and we'll get this uh, radiator, the core support, pushed back down so it fits in there. But anyway, yep, that's that for this one. Thanks.